Is a new form of execution in the U.S. actually a form of torture? That's what the United Nations is saying as Alabama prepares to carry out a death sentence next week. Kenneth Eugene Smith has been on death row since 1996 and is set to be the first person executed in the U.S. using Alabama's nitrogen hypoxia method. Alabama attempted to execute Smith by lethal injection in 2022, but canceled because of a problem with intravenous veins, the state's third failed execution since 2018. Now the U.N. Human Rights Office is urging Alabama to stop the planned execution, saying it could amount to torture. Nitrogen gas has never been used in the United States to execute human beings. The American Veterinary Medical Association recommends giving even large animals a sedative when being euthanized in this manner, while Alabama's protocol for execution by nitrogen asphyxiation makes no provision for sedation of human beings prior to execution. Smith's lawyers call his execution an experiment. The Alabama Attorney General's office dismissed concerns, arguing that the nitrogen gas method would induce unconsciousness within seconds and lead to death within minutes. While the UN claims the death penalty is inconsistent with the fundamental right of life and violates international law. These are rights that are set out in two international human rights treaties that the US is bound by. These include the International Convention, uh, International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights and the Convention Against Torture and Other Cruel, Inhuman or Degrading Treatment or Punishment. On Monday, Smith's attorneys requested an appeals court to block his execution. Arguments are set for Friday.